Hey guys, how YouTube? Um, today I'm gonna be teaching you, if it works, finally, um, how to avoid the 25% infinite loop, which uh, I recently got as more TV, because, well, I bought a GTX 980 Ti, so I was like, I'm gonna play 4K TV. But then I didn't have it, so I was, I got this. And uh, so, you know, TV, Netflix, and I said, why not? But then I, run into this issue which is the 25% infinite loop which I found uh, I was looking on Google and I didn't find any possible answer so as you can see it's gonna be forever this 25% is gonna be forever maybe it's gonna uh, display a little bit of the movie and then it's gonna get stuck again until you get the error that says you don't have any internet so it's not gonna work it's not gonna give us any answer and as we can see it's not even loading this is my router I'm, ta I'm taking a look here and there's no the 199 is the uh, the TV so there is no uh, there's no traffic we can see here upload and download rate it's empty even if we refresh it it's gonna be empty so there is it's not even trying to there we go so it's a little bit so the movie's gonna play for a second and then it's gonna stop at the 25 percent again so, <clears throat> what I found out about this, you can see it's, it was loading at 42%, then it stopped. So, what I figured out is that this has something to do with the broadband that you get. Some person has faster than 10, 20, 50 megs, but for some reason when you have a full broadband and you're trying to watch Netflix, uh, probably Netflix is testing your broadband and just to figure it out what kind of resolution will you be able to see instead of doing as it was before as it was before you start watching the movie from a small resolution and eventually it, it's coming to a higher resolution just like YouTube now but for some reason right now I guess it's just gonna start um, from 4k or, or, or 1080p that depend, depends on, on your brother's speed so it's it's given a test but when it's too fast it's not gonna give you any broadband so the problem is that uh, when I was on YouTube, I mean Google, there was so many people blaming uh, Virgin Mobile and all, all, all of the, their <coughs> internet providers, which is useless, it's not their fault. Uh, it's only because I'm not from, from the US, so I can tell <laughs> it's not them. So uh, how can we fix this? There's just one way that I figured out. The problem is that when Netflix, and I assume this is a problem, when Netflix assumes that you have a high broadband, it's gonna give a test or something like that. And when it when it sees that you have a lot of broadband for some reason, it gets stuck there. So probably they Netflix has an issue with um, the high resolutions or testing the internet speed. So what can you do? You limit the internet speed. Let, let, let me just do it again so you can see. It's gonna be stuck at 25%. Okay, wonderful. This time it worked. <laughs> but, <clears throat> what can we do? Let me just see the router. And there's no more traffic. So it just loaded for a second, as I mentioned before. And it's going to stop, eventually. In a couple of seconds. So how can we do this? How can we make this shit not get stuck at 25%? Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it playing because it's gonna stop in a second because there's no traffic what are we gonna do guys to fix this so you can see this is your router well this is mine you can get any any from anywhere it was downloading again oh wait oh there we go it's stuck now and it's gonna remain stuck for a second for a while so you go to your router you find bandwidth control not all of the router have this so you add this uh, bandwidth control I have for like, for like the whole router and just my computer my phone and my console Doesn't have a limit, but then every, everything else my sister my family. They all have a limit just so I don't lag when I'm playing online <coughs> So I'm gonna limit this to 256 kilobits per second kilobytes per second What is gonna what what is, what is this gonna cost? When I'm playing on Netflix is not gonna try to perform a high definition or or 4k resolution which is, it's not gonna get stuck at 25%, which I believe is the test for the broadband. So when, when he assumes that this is the only broadband that we have, it's just gonna play the regular resolution. You can try um, setting different kind of speeds. 
it's up to you guys you can test 50 megs, 1 meg, 20 meg, it's up to you but I use this because I'm not gonna open a new port just for the, for the TV and, and limit them to 1080p, I'm just lazy I'm not gonna do it but I'm just, I'm just explaining you, once we do this the movie's gonna begin right, and it's not gonna get stuck anywhere so when we go back to statistics there we go it is a traffic and it's constant it's gonna be traffic, it's gonna be traffic see it's it's downloading and it's not gonna get stuck right and we can see the movies it's playing and it's not gonna stop playing it's not gonna get stuck so we can try again just for you to see guys um, what was it advanced panther control if I disable this which means I'm gonna give the whole internet to the TV again it's saved so now it's gonna have the full internet speed you can see it's going be it's going beyond the the limit, but it's it's gonna be um, a couple of seconds before it gets stuck again. Okay, so it's going down, and it's zero now, as you can see. So the broadband was going higher and higher, and when it read in when it touched a limit, like I don't know 400 maybe 500 kilobytes per second, <coughs> I think that 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 was the point when it when it got stuck. When you got to that point. It just went down, strike to zero. So that's the problem with Netflix. It's just testing your broadband, and when you get to a, a, a point when it's way, way too high, it says, "Okay, I'm gonna give him 4K or 1080p resolutions," and then it gets stuck trying to test your speeds, which caused a crash, I believe. So that's why you got no broadband traffic. So the only options for you guys to do <clears throat> is limit. Don't let it go to this rate. Oh, okay, come on. Okay, maybe this time it, it was fixed because I started the movie with the limit. So Netflix already passed the um, the test. And, um, and then it started playing. Now it's stuck again. But I believe it's not going to remain like that because it already passed the test. The initial test, which is the 25%. So that's the only option you have, guys. Well, it's going to be playing over and over and over, it's not going to be any problem. So you got to go to your, bro to your router, you got to look for a tutorial how to limit your broadband. If your router has a uh, broadband limit as well, what can you do? So it's going to be bandwidth control and I'm going to enable it. Because if I don't, I can see this movie with a high resolution. But when I change to another movie, it's going to happen again with the 25%. So <clears throat> you have to limit the internet speed. That's the only solution I've found out so far. I'm gonna try to be testing um, in the future. Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm just lazy. But this is a fix. And I'm telling you this, guys, because I didn't find any way to fix it on the internet. So I'm just showing you how to do it, okay? Um, this is how you can fix it. As you can see, the movie's playing pretty smoothly. It's not a bad resolution, after all. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. As you can see. Um, it's good enough. It seems like 1080p maybe, or I don't know, somewhere around the 720p with 256, and uh, it's good. It's good. So guys, if you have any questions, any any comments, any ideas, if you, if you find a solution, please let me know in the comments below. If you like the if you like the video, then uh, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then boo. But then <laughs> this is what what we have so far. This is what I found out. So. Um, I don't know, I mean, Netflix should know about this, and I don't know why they just don't know. But anyways, this is the solution, I hope, you, I hope you guys enjoy the video, I hope you guys find a way to fix this, so you can start streaming um, Netflix on your TV and your Playstations, and because um, I, I also see that some of the Playstations, TVs, and all, uh, many um, consoles, right, or, or devices. So, <clears throat> this is the fix, this is what I can tell you to fix it. Uh, if there's any problem uh, behind that, try a, a port forward. I also have a port forward. Uh, my router is pretty awesome. I, I can do a port forward within a range, so I can I can port forward not only one device but six or ten devices, as much devices as I want at once. It's a pretty badass router. I, I liked it. It's a pretty pretty good one. But anyways, that's the thing. So guys, once again, I hope you you find your your, your solutions, your videos about it. If you don't, then please let me know. I'm gonna upload one for you, so you just follow the steps. But it depends a lot on what kind of router you have, so that's why I didn't want to. But if you need any ideas, just 
let me know and I help you, okay? Um, anyways, uh, have fun, guys. I hope you I hope you like the video and um, good luck doing this. It's gonna be awesome. As you can see, it's not gonna stuck. It's been uh, non-stop playing after that, so it's gonna work, all right? So, okay, guys, have fun and see you later. Until the next video, bye bye.